Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Mataro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, now before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Wee's GNZ Gaming and even Foxy. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install Malibu Mansion mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder so like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require property manager and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does require lemon UI. Now once you come to lemon UI, keep scrolling down until you're on version 1.5.2. Make sure that you do download version 1.5.2. Once you have completed that process, then now we can get started. So go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Next, if you don't have a scripts folder, simply right click, go to new, and then go to folder, and rename that folder to scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct, and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder and let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN3 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next go to your SHVDN2 folder. Select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now next, exit out of your extract folder. Next, open up your property manager extract folder. And now simply select both files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now go back inside your extract folder and exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your Malibu extract folder. And now go to your readme.txt file and now simply just scroll down right down out of here until you see the DRC packs line. Copy this code, just copy it and exit out of your text file. Now simply open up your OpenIV, go to your Open IV and now go to edit mode, select yes, go to your mods, go to your update, go to update.rpf, go to common, go to data, then now scroll right down to the bottom until you see drclist.xml. Hover over it right click select edit then scroll right down to the bottom until you see the last line over here press enter and i paste your code right there then i save the code then i exit out of your open iv now next go to your grand theft auto v main folder go to your mods folder Go to update, 
go to times 64 go to DLC packs folder now open up your Malibu extract folder and now all you got to do is go to this folder and now lastly select this folder and drag it inside your DRC packs folder then now exit out of your extract folder go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder right click refresh your game folder exit out of your game folder right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are here with our MP character so once you're in the game you will see up top on your left hand side press Q and release your arrow key down to activate the menu so press Q and I press down and now you'll see this menu over here so this menu is basically a property manager menu and what you can do with this menu is that you can edit your mansion so when you go to the Malibu mansion you can basically teleport there or call for the helicopter or dismiss all your security and etc now when you go to delete all spawn vehicles it will just delete all the vehicles around you now the mini mods is pretty much basic when you go over here you'll see smoke anywhere sit anywhere and drink anywhere the Malibu mansion is basically over here I'll show you it's over here okay so that's where the mansion is okay so we are nearly at the mansion it's over here somewhere Wait, oh, over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this mansion is pretty huge, okay. Let's fly the drone and uh, let's have a look. So this is what the mansion looks like. It's pretty huge and there's a lot of uh, features around here. So let's just go and have a look. Now let's just drive over here and we've got our own mansion over here. We've got two security guards. So that's pretty good now with this uh, mod okay I really like it and I'm actually gonna going to keep it okay I'll show you guys why I like it so let's just park the car over here jump out now uh, over here you will see these two guys over here what you can do is that you can share smoke and they both will salute to you see he salutes to you it's like you're the big boss now when you go close to this guy over here as you can see you can tell him to bring your vehicle or you can tell him to park your vehicle so let's press down and now you'll see him parking your car see what see and your car will go over there see and now he will jump out of your car and now he will clean your car see he will clean your car for you oh uh, and your car will be saved as well now let's go inside the mansion oh, wait need somebody over there oh yeah oh uh, wait anybody over here no nobody now over here okay this is what the mansion looks like pretty awesome I really like it now these are a lot of things to care for so I'm going to go through this whole thing quickly so over here we've got our uh, indoor spa pool and swimming pool okay that's pretty cool and over here we've got our own bar so we can order our drinks and over here we've got our our dining room now over here I really like it because we got our own McDonald's so you got your own McDonald's over here and McDonald's uh, bathroom as well I cannot believe but having your own McDonald's inside the mansion is pretty awesome. 
And over here you've got your own chef and your own kitchen. Now this kitchen is pretty large. It's really awesome. And over here is just a table and that's it over there. Now we've got a large, uh, like a large lounge living room. And then now we're back to the square root over here. We will go outside soon, just wait, okay, because we need to do the inside first. Now, over here, okay, you can see the maid over here. The maid has finished cleaning. What you can do is that you can go close to the maid, and now you can tell the maid to clean up. Or you can tell the maid to stop cleaning. So that's pretty good. You can tell the maid to clean up, or tell the maid to stop cleaning. Now, once you come up here, okay, you've got your own um, drug room over here. There's a drug area where you can smoke weed and etc. And yeah. Now, over here is my favorite place I like because I, because technically I work inside a studio. So, this is the studio over here. And this is pretty awesome. I like the audio and I like the. Uh, yeah, I like everything over here. Now this is the back room. We call it the back room. Uh, but some people, yeah, some people call it the booth. Some people call it the back room. But this is the booth over here. We've got our drums over here and etc. So that's pretty cool. I really like this feature. And we've got our own studio toilets over here. So you can sit down and etc. And now you can come out over here. Now over here is the big boss uh, office. The big boss. Which is the boss of this mansion. Uh, this is where he sits. You can sit over there as well. Um, over here is the boardroom table for the meeting. We got a TV over here. And now over here is just a pool table and a sitting area. Now over here is the first bedroom. In the first bedroom we've got a bed. It's just basic over here, okay. And a walk-in uh, bathroom, shower and toilet and etc. Now the other two rooms I'm not going to show you because it's basically all the same. So the first and second and third room is the same as you guys can see. It's pretty much the same. Now this one over here is the master bedroom. Uh, so over here is the bathroom and toilet. So this bathroom over here is kind of out in the open. You can see everybody and I wouldn't take a bath over here because it's creepy. Uh, so yeah, and we got a toilet over here and a shower over here. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now over here we got our own lounge, and now we got our open door balcony over here as well, where you can just relax over here and just enjoy your night or enjoy your day. Now you can come over here too, uh, we got other things over here, just come run over here, okay, and now uh, you can just enjoy your day, or come over here and uh, jump up over here, which I'm not going to do it, so yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now let's go back inside the room, where is it, over here, and go back over here. Now this is the walk-in wardrobe, okay, you can come over here and now you can open the closet and now save your outfits to whatever. Um, now let's go outside. Now, before we do go outside, I really like this as well. You can come to this maid over here. Now you can tell her to clean the master bedroom, press E. Now you'll see her walking to the master bedroom. And now uh, it's pretty awesome um, uh, how you can interact 
with the NPCs by telling them to clean the bedroom, clean the house, or cookie something, or even to park your vehicle. So, right, hang on there. So yeah, firstly she goes to clean the wall over there. And now after that she goes to clean the TV over there. And now she goes to clean over there as well. So that's pretty awesome. Now unfortunately, once you come over here, you'll see her again. That's just how the game goes. So yeah. Now let's go and go outside. Check out outside. Now again, once once you come over here, you'll see a guard over here. He will salute to you. Salute, calling you the boss. Because you are the boss. And uh, over here we've got uh yeah we've got the bar over here and etc. So that's the whole mod guys and I really do enjoy it. I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. And now uh, we are back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. But with that said, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from GTA V or Cyberpunk, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Unfortunately, I'm not active inside my YouTube comments, so I'm more active inside my Discord server, so I will leave my Discord server link inside my description below. Go and join my server and then now I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.